This example will show you how to have different headers and footers within different sections of your document. I will go to the Insert Ribbon and Header. I'm going to select Blank and you'll notice that on the first page of my document it says Header Section 1 with the option of Type Text. On my title page I do not wish to have a header or a footer. I'm going to go to Next which takes me to the header of the body of the document. Here I would like to put a header but I don't want it to be appearing on the header of the first page. You'll note that this is header section 2 and it's saying that it's the same as the previous header. I do not want it to be the same so to disconnect the link between the section 2 header and the section 1 header I will click on Link to Previous. You notice that the link has now disappeared. I will go to the footer and do exactly the same because at present the footer 2 in section 2 is also linked to footer 1. Saying same as previous, I will disconnect that. I'll now type information into the footer Whoops. I will go back to the header and I will close out of the header and footer. You can see that I have a header here on the beginning of the second page. I go back to my title page. I have type text. What I need to do here is point, double click, and to get rid of the placeholder, I can delete. Close, header and footer. That may or may not appear depending on how you create your document and where you start. There are no headers and footers on the first page, which is section one. I now have a header the beginning of section 2, a footer in section 2 and that continues through on these pages because all of these pages are in the same section. So the important thing that you need to remember when you are disconnecting or wanting separate headers and footers within different sections of your document is to ensure that that link to previous has been disconnected. This is the end of how to have different headers and footers within sections within your document.